Hey there, it's Ben Hassel here, and here in this very quick Photoshop tutorial, we're going to be having a look at how we add gradients um, to our work in Adobe Photoshop, change the color, and all the kind of essentials that you'll need to know when working with gradients. So let's dive straight in and have a look at how we add gradients in Adobe Photoshop. Here we're going to have a look at two simple ways in which I like to make gradients in Adobe Photoshop. So the first method is, and I've created a kind of blank canvas here to work on, is to come across to my toolbar on the left hand side um, and we're going to grab the gradient tool. Now this is really simple to work with. You can see up in my options up here I have some different uh, kind of gradients I can select. The one I normally go for is the foreground to background color um, which means I can now come down to my colors on the bottom left here. If I double click here to set a foreground color I can change my color uh, in the color picker. So we'll select the hue, we'll make this a bit brighter and you can see here uh, the setup I've got for my color selection is on hue and that just means I can slide through all the different colors I want. Um, we'll select this nice magenta, click OK and then if I double click on the background layer I will select a yellow and now you can see my foreground to background color um, is selected here and changed. So if I drag across my canvas here from left to right you can see now my gradient will be created. So um, I also have the option here to do a radial gradient uh, which is kind of nice either from one corner to gradient out um, or to come across the middle and you can see we're getting that radial gradient across on the right hand side. So I'm just using command and Z to undo those as I kind of add different gradients. So you can see I've got a couple of other different options for my gradients. So I'm going to go back to the linear gradient. Now the other way that I like to add gradients, oh and one point about gradients is that if we drag across here and we want to change the gradient then basically if we drag from a different point to another point it's going to replace everything. So it's very much like a fill where it's replacing everything on that particular layer that you're working on. So we can gradient across. So if I uh, select all and press backspace. It is going to ask me if I want to fill my canvas with a particular color. I'm going to fill it with white and then I'm going to use command and D to deselect everything. So the other way I like to create a gradient in Photoshop is to use uh, the brush tool. So if I come to my brush tool on the left hand side here, I'm going to come up to my options toolbar and select the very soft round uh, brush that we have here and I'm going to increase the size of it so you can see it's a nice Biggish brush there. We can take this up a bit bigger. Oh, that's maybe too big. We'll go down to about 4,000 pixels here, 2,000 or 3,000 maybe. And you can see we've got a nice kind of brush along the canvas there. Now, if I click here, it's going to make a very hard edged brush. And I also have my opacity turned right down here. So I'm going to turn that back up. But you can see my brush is very hard edged. So it's not creating a gradient. So if I come to my brush options here, and dial the hardness down, you can see now we get a gradient from the color uh, to white. Now I still have my colors selected on the toolbar on the left hand side. If I flip those, so my yellow is now in the foreground, I can click anywhere else on the canvas and it will fill that area with yellow. So you can see by choosing the colors here or even coming up to the color options up here in our panel on the right hand side, we can select a few different colors we can quickly kind of create a more complicated uh, kind of four point uh, gradient where we've got different colors moving across the canvas. So we can modify things uh, nicely in that way. Now gradients are nice, um, especially if we take a photograph. So if we come to file and place embedded, I'm gonna come into my photos folder here and I'm gonna grab a image here of the corn exchange in Leeds. If I select that and place it, and this is where gradients kind of get really interesting, so I'm going to increase the size of my image and hit enter. And um, you can start to add kind of color blend modes with your image either on top um, or if we double click on our background, here we can open up our background. I'll change my image back to normal and then drag that layer up. And now if I come to, say for instance, screen, we're gonna get these nice effects where the image is blending. And if I come to my 
colors here, I can kind of keep painting in, I can change my color a little more, and I can modify the kind of color blend that I'm getting um, in different parts of this image, either make it warmer by adding more orange with the screen, um, or I can cool things down by adding more of a kind of blue uh, to different parts of the image. And you can see the different blend modes uh, work quite nicely um, to give us a nice effect. I'm a big fan of screen, it kind of gives a nice uh, effect there. So that's a couple of different ways of making uh, gradients in Adobe Photoshop. Uh, one thing I would also recommend is when you're looking at your gradients, just look and see if there's any banding um, in the gradients. And sometimes um, it's not a bad idea to select your layer um, that you've got your gradient on and basically come up to filter and noise and then add noise. And in here, we can kind of increase the amount of noise that we have in that image. So it will kind of take out any banding that you have in kind of very strong uh, kind of colored gradients and give it this kind of grainy effect. So that's a quick overview of how to create a gradient, um, either using the gradient tool on the left um, or by using brushes, which is a favorite method of mine. I hope you found that useful. Um, do go and check out some of my classes on Skillshare for Adobe Photoshop and Adobe InDesign, um, or I hope you're enjoying the, the Final Cut Pro classes that you're finding here on YouTube, and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.